everyone to our Rice Street Parade. This is the annual celebration of our community, the Rice Street North End neighborhood of St. Paul. The very first Rice Street Festival was held in 1910, and this festival has been running almost continuously ever since then. It's the annual celebration of our community. We celebrate all the wonderful people who live here, the businesses who contribute in every way to our neighborhood. Uh, my partner today is Frances, and she will introduce herself. Hello, my name is Frances Diaz. Um, I'm a long-lasting uh, um, long resident here in, uh, on Rice Street. I um, live right across the street from District 6. Um, thank you to Carrie Antrim for inviting me to be a commentator here. Uh, we hope that you will have a lot of fun. And I have done this commentating before for the Rice Street Parade. I love talking about my neighborhood and the people that I know and the organizations in the neighborhood. My husband and I have lived in the North End since 1970. We have been involved in just about everything that's gone on here. And it's a wonderful place to live. The diversity, the many, many people, people who are coming to our country for the first time choose the North End as their neighborhood. And we're so very happy to celebrate with all of them today. At the same time, I wanted to mention that one of our very dear friends, Bruce Larson, has passed away. Bruce was also known as the Kaiser, and he was a friend to everyone in the North End neighborhood. He invested in the community, he uh, bought an older building, and re he remodeled it and made it into the clubhouse, which is just a jewel on Rice Street. Bruce was a friend to everybody, and he cared about everything that went on in the neighborhood. We mourn his loss and we, we celebrate his life. Uh, we will be celebrating his life on Thursday, August 3rd at the Church of St. Bernard at one o'clock, followed by a party at the clubhouse that Bruce planned himself. He was a wonderful, wonderful person and we will remember him forever. There's lots of little kids running around today. We hope they're having a fun time. Uh, directly after the parade, everybody can gather at the Rice Street Recreation Fields where there's going to be children's games and fun, face painting and all different sorts of activities uh, put on by the Rice Street Recre Recreation Center, by St. Paul Parks and Rec, and by, of course, the uh, Parade and Festival Planning Committee. Along Lawson Avenue, we're sitting at the corner of Rice and Lawson, but along Lawson Avenue, uh, there are food trucks and there's also a couple of businesses that are open along the way where people can buy food. And so we're hoping that there's a wonderful afternoon of fun for everyone. At 3 p.m., there will be a coronation of the new Miss Rice Street, the, uh, the 2017 Miss Rice Street, uh, and that will be held at Washington Technology Magnet, and the admission is $5 or a, a festival button. As we can see, the parade is a, a couple blocks away from us. Uh, pretty soon we'll be able to tell you who all the people are and who all the units are in the parade. Formerly, the parade was held in the evening. This is our second time having it on a Sunday afternoon, and it's a very, very different scene. It's bright and sunny, a perfect July day. Uh, I remember, I don't remember how many years ago, we had a very historic Rice Street Parade when we had a thunderstorm and they had to pull people off the SPNN truck because of lightning. It poured the whole parade. And just before the parade started, I made the comment, it has never rained on our parade. I always felt a little bit guilty that I had brought the rain. But we survived, the parade finished, and here we are again on a bright and sunny day just waiting for the, the parade to really come by us. Well, looks like we've got a lot of people joining us, Mary. Um, looks like Rice Street is getting pretty packed now. The parade is just a couple blocks away, so we hope to start seeing the, the floats here pretty soon. Let those motorcycles weigh a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
let me know when I should start, I guess. Or just... And here we are at the beginning of the parade. It's led by, uh, the color guard is led by the North End Post 474. They have been carrying the colors for our parade for more years than we can remember. We so appreciate them coming back every year and representing the North End and veterans from this area. Coming up next. Coming up next is the St. Paul uh, Band. Uh, is an organization built on uh, music musicianship public relations and traditions. Founded in 1023 by a trio of St. Paul officers, the band performs several concerts in the St. Paul metropolitan area and marches in, um, marches in Man Regional Festival parades each year. Membership consists of both police officers and volunteers who enjoy making music and representing both the city of St. Paul and the city um, St. Paul Police Department. We will listen to the police band for a few minutes now. St. Paul Fire Department provides all hazard protection for the St. Paul, uh, for the city of St. Paul. The fire chief is Tim Butler. memorializing Bruce Larson, who passed away recently. Bruce was a wonderful presence in our community. He was very generous. He contributed much to the overall uh, livelihood of our North End Rice Street community. We love you, Bruce, and we will miss you. We will miss your presence, and we celebrate your life. Here's the fire Looks department. Looks like the St. Paul Fire Department are passing right now. And they're giving us a wave. <laughs> At this time, it would be good to say thank you to our uh, St. Paul police officers and our St. Paul Police Department um, and our fire department who do so well protecting us and keeping us safe. And it looks like uh, Grand Marshal Mike Remmers has been a resident of Ramsey County for 44 years. He's currently retired from Capital Bank, where he spent the last 14 years serving as president. Uh, Mike has uh, been dedicated to Rice Street Civic Organizations, including president of North End Business Association, board of the North End Community Foundation, and continuous supporter of the Rice Street Festival. Thank you, Mike, for all your years of service. Mike Remmers, Grand Marshal, recently retired from Capital Bank. But this right now is the uh, Titan truck is going by. The Titans are the former princes of the North Wind. They represent the North End at the St. Paul Winter Carnival. I guess we're a little bit ahead of it. Mike is just coming now in the convertible. Looks like they're throwing out those beads, Mary. Yes. Kids love to get them. And even though Mike has actively retired from the bank, he's still very involved in the North End community and still regularly attends our North End Business Association meetings. Coming next is our community grand marshal, Jeff Martins. He's a fourth generation Rice Streeter. He's lived with his wife, Leanne, who is a third generation Rice Streeter, and he's lived for many years um, in Rice, on, on Rice Street. He's been privileged to serve on many committees, task forces, and special projects. And he's also been heavily involved in the Tri-Area Block Club that consists of a group who takes great pride in their community. And he, as you can see, is riding a fire engine. <laughs> and there Jeff is making sure we see him. Hello, Jeff. 
The Tri-Area Block Club has been very involved in the North End community. They fought for 23 years to make what is now called the Trout Brook Nature Sanctuary. Thank you, Jeff, for being such a dedicated member of our community. Looks like Rice Street uh, Festival Royalty is coming down. Uh, the current Rice Street Royalty is finishing their last day of their reign. Uh, looks like they have spent the last year representing North End um, at over 100 appearances across the state. Their favorite events this year were going to the St. Paul Winter Carnival in January, participating in crowning achievements. Looks like St. Paul Pioneers are coming. Yes, um, that's a football team in the North End. Right. They just gave us some Tootsie Rolls. Their favorite events this year were going to the St. Paul Carnival in January, participating in crown, uh, crowning achievements, a pageant for disabled men and women, and safe summer nights uh, that was held at Rice and Lawson Fields early this month. Please say a, fair, a final farewell to our Princess Maureen uh, Oyen, sponsored by Tin Cup, Princess uh, Maddie Smith, sponsored by Rice Street Family Dental, and our Queen Elizabeth uh, Mark, sponsored by Hammernecks Decorating. Now we have our Rice Street Festival Royalty candidates for 2017, uh, and they include Alyssa Gerthy, sponsored by Hammernicks, Cassandra Schrengoss, sponsored by Mama T's Castle Tap, Ann Gallagher, sponsored by Camp's Food Market, Jen Elfering, sponsored by Lawns Auto, Tori Cox, sponsored by Dar's Double Scoop, and Stephanie Fox, sponsored by Mama's Pizzas. And all of these young ladies uh, will be participating in the pageant later today. Looks like Rice Gardens is next. Uh, Rice Gardens began in 2016. It has 260 gardeners. Many are immigrant refugees from Burma, Nepal, China, countries in Africa, Vietnam, and more. Rice Street Gardens allows people who are food insecure to grow their produce and supplement their diets with fresh, organic vegetables. And coming up next <laughs> is St. Paul City Council member Amy Brenmoen. Amy and her family reside in the South Como neighborhood. Before she took office in January 2012, Amy worked as Director of Marketing and Communications at a St. Paul-based nonprofit. She's also worked in the private sector at a local advertising agency and worked as a consumer advocate Thank you. at the Office of the State Attorney General. In her first term in office, Amy has prioritized accessibility to her constituents and consistent communication. She uses social media outlets to engage her community members, including online office hours. And she has a strong presence on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. She also holds Hello. regular community office hours at Rice Street Library, and she makes it easy for her community to share their ideas and concerns. She also serves on the St. Paul Housing and Redevelopment Authority. Uh, she's the chair of that, uh, that organization and the St. Paul Library Board, to name just a few. Boy, the kids are having such a great time, Mary. They are, and they're getting candy and beads and all kinds of things. All right, it looks like up next is uh, First Student School Bus. First Student is currently hiring good drivers to transport our children safely uh, to school each day. Check out our website, www.firststudentinc.com for more information. If you'd like to uh, be employed by the uh, First Student uh, bus company. First Student transports a lot of our students. Looks like they're paying very well. Yes. <laughs> okay, the next unit coming up is the North End Improvement Club along with the American Legion. The North End Improvement Club has been around a long time and their total goal is to make our neighborhood better. They started in around 1923 and their first project was to improve, to build a boathouse at uh, McCarran's Lake, which is out at the end of Rice Street, just outside of our neighborhood. And coming up next is uh, St. Paul Public Schools. St. Paul Public Schools, Mary, is one of the Minnesota's largest school districts with more than 39,000 students. 
highly trained and deeply dedicated staff, cutting edge academic programs, and strong community support are among the district's hallmarks. Their student population is diverse with students who speak more than 125 languages and dialects. Their vision is imagine every student inspired, challenged, and cared for by exceptional educators. Imagine your family welcomed, respected, and valued by exceptional schools. Imagine our community united, strengthened, and prepared for the exceptional future. St. Paul Public Schools, where immigration meets destination. And one of the school units that just marched, two of them, were the Crossroads Elementary School and the St. Paul Music Academy, both excellent schools located in our own North End. This is still the St. Paul Schools. They have quite a few units, I, actually. And coming up next is, um, I'm looking at the float to see exactly what this represents, what part of this school. Okay, it's St. Paul Public Schools. Yes, it's tell us one thing you love about St. Paul Public Schools. And it's a float filled with kids that go to schools in our, in in our area. And then along next is coming a, uh, another first student bus which transports our St. Paul school students. First Students is one of many bus companies which take our kids to school every day. We have, it's wonderful Mary, that we have such a lot of uh, good bus drivers out here to get our yes. kids safely to and from school. Correct. Coming up next um, is the East Wind Truck, and behind the East Wind Truck is the Titan Truck. So the East Wind represents all the former East Wind princesses from the St. Paul Winter Carnival. They're involved heavily in the East Side community, but they some coming, love coming out to support other communities like our own North End. Hail the East! It's coming up now is Ace Auto Parts. Long time business at the very beginning of our North End neighborhood. Well, you, where you can get all of your auto parts and get to and from work safely. These are candidates for DFL sponsored candidates for the St. Paul School Board. So that would be Marnie Zhang, John Broderick, and Jeanette Foster are the three candidates that are represented in this group. This is the Marnie Nixon group, Marnie Zhang group. God, it's so nice, Mayor. We have such a mixture of cultures. Everybody's yes. having a wonderful time. They're all getting along together. There's a little bit of a lull in the parade now while everybody gets caught up to each other. <laughs> DFL, DFL, DFL. DFL, of course, for the Democratic Farmer Labor Party. And Janelle Foster, some of her supporters. And it's so nice that we have um, a lot of our younger um, community participants yes. uh, participating in a lot of our uh, government. Right. It's good to see young people involved and interested. Exactly. And here comes a truck in support of the candidates playing music. So now I'm not Looks sure. Like we, we have a little bit of a pause. Yes. Looks like the parades so are down about a block and a yes. half. I mean the uh, float. I'm guessing that people have been stopping to talk to participants along the way. This happens, a lot of people know each other and they reach out to one another and exchange a few pleasantries. But it's nice, it's nice that the, the younger community are coming out to participate to make some positive changes in the community. Yes, it shows, it, it's good to see that they are interested. You know, in this day and age when we're so often seeing our young people looking at their phones, texting, calling their friends, and really not paying much attention to what's going on around them, there are many, many young people who are interested in other people and who are using their social media to do something positive. Right. 
Well, it's great. We have a lot of, uh, lot of younger students that are really um, ex um, experimenting and expressing their interest in the community, trying to make positive changes, right. trying to get other students involved. Um, and it's nice to see all that new creativity coming from a lot of the it, younger yes. students. And we have a number, we have many schools in our North End community and each of them has their own distinct personality and purpose. And it's educating our children in just a number of different ways. But it's nice to see everybody working together, playing yes. together. Yes. And they get together at the different uh, rec centers and all of that. And I, I can see why the parade has slowed down just a little bit because coming up, is the Community School of Excellence. Uh, it's a, a parent community partnership. It provides a world-class education through a caring and innovative environment that fosters inquiring, knowledgeable, and compassionate students. It embraces the Hmong culture and it celebrates this intercultural understanding and respect. And the Community School of Excellence is currently building a new school building on Larpender Avenue at the former Linder's Greenhouse site. And this fall, they will be moving into that new building. But what is just ahead of us, a number of students from the Community School of Ex Excellence are performing. They're doing dancing and singing. And they're making their way ar along Rice Street, which is a beautiful sight to see for all of us. The Community School of Excellence ranges, uh, the new school will have students from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. And that is in addition to all of the other schools we have in our neighborhood, including Crossroads, the St. Paul Music Academy, uh, Maternity of Mary St. Andrew School. <laughs> and there's a bunch of little kids waving at us and they're waving at the camera. Hopefully they got on camera. They're, They're having the spirit, such a yeah. good time. They're, yep, they really have a high spirit today. And now I think we can see the students from Community School of Excellence, CSE, performing for the crowd. Boy, this their parade, outfits are so colorful, aren't they? Yes, they're beautiful. Uh, this parade route is kind of long, and so these kids are doing a good job of continuously dancing all the way along the route. They're wearing traditional clothing, very, very spectacular colors. I went to school with Julia Vang, and she, she actually teaches a lot of the Hmong culture and a lot of the dance and things like that. So it's so good it's to keep nice that to, alive. Yeah, it's nice to see people um, contributing and, and teaching the Mexican dance, the Hmong dancing. So pretty. They're still smiling. Oh, I wish I had their energy. Yes, in the hot sun. Although today is turning out to be a beautiful day, there's a nice cool breeze, there's a beautiful blue sky. Perfect day for a parade. It looks like we have the 2017 Winter Carnival Senior Royalty. They're coming up now. The St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty is open to any resident of Minnesota who is 55 or older. They play an important role in the legend of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. It is said Senior King Winter, Queen of the Northlands, and their court contributed goodwill and wisdom to King Boreas during this year of service. And this is our Senior Winter Carnival Royalty for 2017. Coming up next is Ramsey County Commissioner Janice Redman. She's represented the Rice Street area at the county since 1997. Prior to that, she represented the city of St. Paul on the city, St. Paul City Council. Thank you for joining us. 
And now we have another little lull. And this is going to be, um, the next unit is Haitian artists. And I think they may be, perform be performing for the crowd. They're coming up soon. I, I think they're on screen. It is the Afoy Tei Dance, and it was founded and directed by native Haitian artists with extensive experience in dance instruction, choreography, acting, and storytelling. Afotoye, we're not sure how to pronounce this, Dance Music and Arts Company battles the misconceptions of Haitian culture through education and expressive arts. Together they join to inspire and engage people of all ages to dance, sing, tell stories, and experience the beauty of Haiti. And they have some very uh, traditional clothing that they are wearing. And some very distinctive music. Coming down next after them is uh, Pat Harris for mayor. Pat Harris is running for mayor of St. Paul to bring jobs, great city services, and public safety to every citizen in St. Paul. Vote on November 7th and get involved. You can get involved at uh, www.patharrisformayor.com. And it looks like we're taking a little bit of break. Look at the Haitian dance. Well, that'll get you dancing, right, Mary? Yes. <laughs> the beat. And again, uh, the voting starts in November, November 7th. Again, get involved at the www.padharrisformayor.com. St. Paul Firefighters, Local 21. Just let you know that your St. Paul Fire Local 21 and your St. Paul Police Federation, we are backing at Paris for mayor. So join our team. Come November, we jumped into that voting range. Let's get that. Okay, it looks like the St. Paul Winter Carnival Royal Family will be up next. Looks like we have a lot of a lot of the kids around the fire truck today. Coming up next is the St. Paul Winter Carnival Royal Family. It's the oldest winter festival in North America. The Winter Carnival will be celebrating its 138th year this January. I see Klondike Kate right up at the front. And with us today is Boreas Rex the 81st, Jason Bradshaw, president of Bradshaw Funeral oh. Homes. It's our own Jason Bradshaw. And Queen of the Snows is Lindsay Sandoval. Prime Minister Heath Barton is North Wind Prince Eric Paterka. The North Wind Princess is Johanna Smith. East Wind Prince is Brian Laughlin. East Wind Princess Ellie Carter. West Wind Prince Jory Lexon. West Wind Prince is Molly Ruther. South Wind Prince Steve Policio. South West Princess Elena Heyman. And she was sponsored by the Rice Street Festival was our 2016 Miss Rice Street. Conduct, 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. We We've just here? received a snowflake. Oh, we got from a snowflake kit. From Hammernix Decorating. Oh, oh beads too. <laughs> How are you? Thank you. Romeo thank you. Perez. Romeo Perez. Nice to see you from the west side. And here we have a spinner. Yeah, you know, you thank you. We have two spinners. spinners. Yes, we're getting, we're receiving royalty treasures here. All right. Look at the pretty princesses. So the True carnival tradition. Boy, our princesses are gorgeous today. They are beautiful. Coming up next is our proud community partner, Royal Credit Union. We are actually sitting right in front of the Royal Credit Union. And they're kind of new to our neighborhood, so we welcome them. This is only their second uh, parade that they participated in. Looks like we have Long's Auto. Long's Auto is providing the vehicle for uh, the Royal Credit Union. Thank you. And we're getting candy. Open Cities, we've got Open Cities. Open Cities Health Center. Yes, they have just nice. reopened on Rice Street. Looks like we have uh, St. Paul Public Library Book Mobile. Coming um, up. This is a library on wheels that offers year-round service to St. Paul neighborhoods with over 40 stops every two weeks. This year is the 100th year anniversary of the book, uh, of the book mobile service in St. Paul. Congratulations on the 100 years. That's a huge feat. We need to get our kids out there reading and participating. Yes. And the library participates in so many different uh, organizations in the neighborhood. I know they have partnerships with some of our rec centers. So they work together to give the kids a lot of good things. Coming up is our Junior and Winter Carnival Royalty. And it's an important part of the St. Paul Winter Carnival legend. Ashley McCann is the 2017 Queen of the Snowflakes. Looks like we have our Junior Royalty right after them. Yes, th this oh, is that right is? now. Okay. And Abigail and Kendall are the other two Royalty. It looks like now we this have... Is Dai Tao for St. Paul Mayor, uh, protecting people, promoting equality and uh, persevering heritage. Dao believes our city needs a bold direction that will tackle the racial disparities gap that is crippling our economy. The city needs to make sure that our city serves um, our services operation equality across all neighborhoods. And we must assure the residents are invested in because they are, the, they are the infrastructure of our community and economy. So come on down. Vote for Dai, Dai Tao for our St. Paul Mayor. Boy, I love this energy, Mary. This is great. South Saint, looks like we have South St. Paul Capoja Day Royalty next. You want to do this one? South St. Paul Capoja Day's Royalty are joining us again this year. With us today we have Queen Kristen, Princess Heidi, and Princess Emily. Thank you for bringing your beautiful smiles to our North End. Coming up next is the Church of St. Bernard. St. Bernard's is a Roman Catholic parish providing vital services to the diverse North End community of St. Paul. Their mission statement is, as we extend the hand of welcome to all, our mission is to learn, love, and live the challenging word of Jesus Christ, offering parishioners and neighbors direction and support at every phase of their faith journey. 
and St. Bernard's has been a tradition in the neighborhood for well over 100 years. Through the years, St. Bernard's has provided a place for immigrants to worship, starting with the Germans. And now the newest people to our neighborhood are the Kareni, who are from Burma. Burma. Now coming up is Boy Scout Troop 66, sponsored by St. Bernard's Men's Club. Up next is uh, Farmington Ambassadors. The Farmington Ambassador Program exists to provide opportunities for involvement with the local and surrounding communities to support the growth and development of young women and girls in the city of Farmington. Ambassadors gain poise, speaking abilities, and interviewing techniques. The ambassadors will travel throughout the greater uh, Twin Cities, uh, will be a part of many volunteer opportunities here in our own community of Farmington. Uh, the program's intent Go ahead. His intent is to uh, teach skills that will be invaluable throughout life. Thank you uh, for coming, ladies. You look great. And, and we just have seen the Washington NJROTC Sail Academy, S-A-I-L, sailboat. The Washington Technology Magnet School Navy J Junior ROTC is a citizenship and leadership development program sponsored by the United States Navy and the St. Paul Public Schools. With over 125 student 125 student cadets enrolled each year. The JROTC program trains high school students in military customs and courtesy, U.S. government and history, practical leadership, and more. The NJROTC Sail Academy is conducted each summer on Phelan Lake. The Sail Academy has 12 sailboats. All Looks like we got John Broderick, John Broderick candidate Paul board for member. school board. <laughs> John Broderick. John has been on the St. Paul School Board since 2002, and he is running for re-election this year. Thank you, John, for joining joining us today. Woodbury Ambassadors are coming up next. It's a family fun-filled weekend, and it's August 25th through 28th. Representing the city today is Miss Woodbury, Abby. Princesses Paige and Kylie, Little Miss Woodbury, Nadia, Little Miss Princesses Imani and Madison, and Senior Queen Sherry. Thank you for joining us, ladies. Nice, what a variety. Beautiful float. And they really are having, wearing big smiles Coming up next is the Rice Street Post Office, a staple in our community, a place we all end up standing in line, greeted by our friendly post office employees. And we see this mail truck on our street all the time. Thank you. Thank you for serving us. And it looks like we have Melvin Carter for St. Paul. Melvin Carter for St. Paul is the campaign elect Melvin Carter as the next mayor of our city. Melvin is a former city administrator, advisor to Governor Mark Dayton, and is running to build a uh, St. Paul that works for all of us. Again, thank you to um, Melvin Carter. Melvin Carter, thank you for participating in our parade. And so there's also a vehicle, there's people, there's babies wearing Melvin Carter shirts. Boy, I love this participation. This yes. is great. Great response. Yeah, I love the diversity. Okay, coming up is the Miss St. Francis Ambassador Program. The Miss St. Francis Ambassador Program is having their inaugural season with their brand new float. And does it ever look nice? Their current ambassadors are, are here today. Thank you for joining us, ladies. You all look lovely. And this is the St. Paul City School. Looks like St. Paul City School. Go ahead, Mary. St. Paul City School partners with families to prepare students to embrace their full potential and pursue higher education. They have a multicultural learning community 
committed to the total development of every child. They are a free public charter school and provide busing anywhere in St. Paul. They have small class sizes, free breakfast and lunch, and special ed and ELL services are available. Looks like we have the North End cheerleaders coming down. Oh, I think I know who they are. They are kids who participate um, in the Rice Recreation Center. And I think they've been, this is the Titans. They have a football team in the fall that plays at Rice Rec. And I think these are kids who have been attending some of the programs uh, for the Titans and Rice Recreation. Nice. And they've just practiced marching in a parade. But some of them are running. Looks like they North End cheerleaders and our North End uh, football team. Yes, the Titans are the team. The Titans are the football team and the cheerleaders are the kids, I think, who participate at the rec center. But there's a large number of kids who play football in the fall at Rice. Oh yeah, I love that competition with the football. Yes. Football's a big staple in Minnesota. Yeah, and they're all wearing their jerseys, their gold jerseys. And these kids come from all around the North End, including adjacent neighborhoods. And I think this is all still part of that group. So some of the kids are getting a ride in this minivan here. So I'm counting really a lot of kids as part of this uh, team, part of this group. It's nice, it's nice to see our kids involved in sports. And if you read their t-shirts, the ones that aren't wearing the jerseys, they're coming from all of the different schools around here. I see a Como Park High School. I see someone wearing our 2017 Rice Street Festival shirt. Coming up now is the Aquatennial Senior Queen and Senior Princess Commodore. And they are the 2018 representing the uh, Minneapolis Aquatennial, so they have just, just come in. Yes, Restoration Counseling Community Services up next. Uh, Restoration, counseling, and community services provide substance abuse treatment. They treat the chemical health needs of people coming out of the criminal justice system. They serve people with substance use disorders and provide substance abuse treatment through sober housing and community-based programs. They are new to our neighborhood and they're located on Rice Street. They take the whole person into consideration as we serve our clients. And they have several vehicles here in the parade. That's nice to see that people are helping our, in our community. Yes. Getting people back on track. Looks like we have uh, Looks like we have next Mary Osceola Royalty. Yes. The Osceola Community uh, Fair takes place annually the weekend after Labor Day. Um, all are welcome to visit Osceola for a weekend of tractor pulls, truck pulls, live entertainment, and fantastic food. Their Grand Day Parade on Sunday, September 10th at 1 p.m. Again, the Grand Day Parade is on Sunday, September 10th at 1 p.m. This year's royalty is Miss Osceola Sophie. Little Miss Osceola, Regan, Little Miss Princesses, Lainey, Kylie, and Macy. Looks like we have a little bit of a break here. Yes. And some of the units that, some of the units that we kind of missed um, was the Open Cities Health Center went by and we barely mentioned them. Uh, that's a community clinic in our neighborhood located um, on Rice Street, just a little ways from here, a little bit south of where we're sitting. Um, and they serve the people in the neighborhood, including 
people who have very limited means and they are open to all. Also, another, we kind of missed, there was a little bit of a protest here that we didn't really talk about because they were not listed on our, our schedule here, our script, and so we're not sure exactly what they were representing, but they, they had their say, they had their time on camera. Right, it's good to come out and speak and yes. you know, uh, have an expression in the community to make a positive difference. And coming up next is Tom Goldstein for mayor. Uh, he's another candidate. He's a former school board member. He's a lawyer, uh, founder of the Sports Collection Retail Store, and co-founder of the Gus Macker 3-on-3 three -three Tournament. We have many candidates in the parade today. Um, hopefully, people will turn out and vote in the fall. I believe the election is November 7th. In St. Paul, we no longer have a primary election. We have uh, the runoff system which I'm not going to try to explain today because we're at a parade and that's something that you need to really focus intensely on and not have on a day where you're just sitting around. Tom Goldstein for mayor unit. It looks like coming up next is the Anim Animal Humane Society Community Outreach. Since 2012, Animal Humane Society Community Outreach program has sought to create a home, uh, humane world for animals throughout community-based education and by providing resources for pet owners in Twin Cities communities that historically have not engaged with the Animal Humane Society or other animal uh, welfare organizations. Since May, since May 2013, uh, they have spayed, neutered 5,235 animals and vaccinated 6,278 animals in Frogtown and East St. Paul. And I can attest, Mary, it's, I have two, two dogs and uh, their services are wonderful. Um, they just had um, participation in spay, spay and neutering and vaccinations um, over, um, over on the east side, just a couple blocks east of White Bear Avenue. And they're so good. A lot of the volunteers are just great. That's good to know. Coming up is the um, Rice Street Rec G Twin Cities Judo Club. They have classes at Rice Rec regularly, and you can see some of what they do. Looks like we have the West St. Paul float coming down. Um, looks like celebrate West St. Paul royalty. Um, Celebrate, um, excuse me, Celebrate West St. Paul Days uh, takes place the third weekend in May. The royalty with us today are Miss West St. Paul Amy, sponsored by Pizza Shop, West St. Paul Princess Ava, sponsored by Park Dental, Junior Miss West St. Paul Monica, sponsored by Kiwanis Club, Little Miss West St. Paul Nora, sponsored by Southview Garden Center, and Little Miss West St. Paul Princess Adriana, sponsored by Hometown Tire and Service. Thanks for coming out, ladies. I have to tell the people who are watching this parade that the, uh, the units are not in the exact order that we have on our script. And so uh, some of the, the units are coming up before we're prepared to talk about them. So we apologize for that, but we're, we're trying to follow along. Now we have the head start. Community Action Partnership sponsors the Head Start programs. And I'm thinking this is probably the St. Paul Promise neighborhood. Uh, the St. Paul Promise neighborhood is committed to addressing, well, now here we have Team Extreme, which is not the Promise neighborhood. And I don't see Team um, Extreme. That's Cheer Extreme. Okay, uh, cheer. Teaches cheers, okay. chants, uh, tumbling, stunt dancing, and Team Unity. So if you want your children to get into, if you want your children to get into tumbling and just being active. That would be a good thing to do. Right, right. And we just saw Fair Vote Minnesota, which is um, ranked choice voting, which is the way we vote in St. Paul right now for the mayor and the city council people. Looks like we have New Brighton Stockyard Days Royalty coming down next. New Brighton Stockyard. Days is celebrating its 36th annual festival this August. And they are in a purple and silver float. Coming up 
up next is John Lesh for Attorney General. John represents our neighborhood in the same in the Minnesota. Um, this is a representative in the Minnesota legislature. Oh, how's it going? Uh, Hello, John. Good to see Hi, John. You. John Lesh, candidate for Attorney General. And as I understand it, he's only running if the current <laughs> Attorney General does not choose to run. Coming up now is the Karen Organization of Minnesota. The, K the, the KOM is first social services agency in the county, founded by Karen refugees from Burma. More than 12,000 Karen people live in Minnesota, making it the largest Karen community in the country. Minnesota is also home for more than 1,000 refugees from other ethnic groups in Burma. Their organization offers a variety of programs to help refugees uh, transition to life in a new country and achieve their goals. There are four main program areas, um, include employment services, social services, community health, and youth development. We have another little lull in our parade. Um, I would like to mention that there are many Karen refugees living in our own North End. And I know that there's a large number of Kareni, which is another tribe from Burma, who worship at St. Bernard's Church. And so we've become a center for the Karen and Kareni people to make their homes, to be part of our community, and we welcome them all here. Well, and it's nice to have that help to transition into a community. Yes, and I, I think they feel welcome here. I think refugees have always felt comfortable in the North End. Mm -hmm. It's a very diverse community. Yeah, a lot of our St. Paul communities are very helpful. They're very involved in uh, helping to transition people um, from other countries into, into St. Paul. Yes, and over the years, we've seen a number starting way back with the Germans, the Polish people, the Romanian people, right. Hungarians the have all settled in our exactly. neighborhoods. This, we should mention that this is our 108th Rice, Rice Street, Street Festival. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it is the long. I think it is the longest-running community festival in the state. The original Rice Street Festival was held at an empty lot near Rice and University, and over the years it moved north. This Minneapolis Park and Rec Board looks like we got we have some dancers coming down yes. from the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board. And there are, there's music for them to dance to, to perform to. This is the DA Celebrities Dance Team. It stands for Dancers, Accessing, Community, Educating, Leaders to Embrace Building Respect in Teens Improving and Encouraging Success. And it's a free program and they're held every Tuesday and Thursday at the Minneapolis Central Gym. If you go to Facebook, looks like they're located at 3400 Forbes Avenue South in Minneapolis. Um, you can register uh, today, five and up. Um, they have a, um, let's see, you can get on Facebook at the, what was it, the real DJ Tyson. And their phone number is 612-366-6156. And again, there's no fee for their program. Look, it looks like we have the Sven, Scandinavian Summerfest. Sven Karnes Day Royalty. After 82 years, Sven Karnes Day, or Swedish Heritage Day, joined Norway Day in 2015 to create a Scandinavian Summerfest. The collaboration resulted in one of the largest Scandinavian festivals, festivals in the North End, northern U.S. and features Scandinavian foods, hand crafts, midsummer loop dancing around a midsummer pole, music and dance groups 
from around our region and the uh, crowing of royalty family. The 2018 royalty includes Miss Vince Garnett, Gay Tessa Westland, and Junior Princesses Alice Audrey and Olivia. Please join them for the Summer Fest, the fourth Sunday in June at Minnehaha Falls Park in Minneapolis. And this is greetings from the East Bethel Royalty. Please join us in welcoming our friends from East Bethel. Little Miss Kayla, Little Miss Lucy, Princess Alexis, and Miss East Bethel Savannah. Thanks for joining us, ladies. And the group that we missed was the RPM Republican Party in Senate District 65. They gave us no information, so they were in the parade, but we weren't able to comment. Looks like we have the Executive Car Club, 300. Nice to see these gorgeous cars. Um, this, is, uh, this is their second year in the parade, and they're always a crowd favorite. Everybody loves cars. Thank you for bringing your awesome cars out, guys. Looks like we have a lot of gorgeous Chrysler 300s coming yes, down. Yes, beautiful cars coming. And we're approaching the end of our parade. We'd like to thank SPNN for covering our parade. We'd also like to thank our St. Paul police for being here and keeping us safe. And we'd like to thank all of the people who helped put this parade together. Uh, it makes for a very wonderful Sunday afternoon in our North End. And thank you for all the people who have participated, all the cultures that have participated, and especially to all the young the young people that I've seen today. Yes. It's like the participa participation of the young kids is just, it's growing bigger and bigger each year, and it's yes, wonderful. Yes, it is. And it's so good to see them having fun. Yes, again, the diversity is just outrageous out here. It's yes, really it's nice. Yes, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see. And now we have our friendly St. Paul police handing out candy to the kids. The kids are going to go home with a lot of candy today. Oh my gosh, get ready parents. They're going to be sugared up today. Yep, they'll be, <laughs> they'll be all set to go over and have some fun. And so we're at, at the end of our parade today. Thank you all for joining us. We hope you had a good time. We hope you enjoyed our comments. We made sure we tried to mention everybody in the parade. We hope you all had a good time. And anytime you have some time, come out to Rice Street. We're a wonderful community. Thank Bye. you.